Welcome to episode one of the Colorado Avalanche franchise featuring the arrival of Paul Correa and Tiu Solani. So a bit of a background on this particular scenario, the Colorado Avalanche, a very successful team in the late 90s and early 1000s, went out and acquired via free agency Paul Correa and Timu Solani, who both in reality took discounts to come and play together. And they obviously had one thing on their agenda, first and foremost, is to win a cup. And so they joined the Colorado Avalanche, who were already stacked, as you can see here, with Rob Blake, Joe Sackick, Milan Heyduk, Alex Tange, Adam Foote, uh, Peter Forsberg, and so forth. Um, it didn't work out. It did not work out. They were knocked out in the second round of the playoffs that year. And uh, it was Tony Granato's only, um, actually, well, he did take over the year before, uh, half or not halfway through, but at some point of the season. So, uh, but he did, he was fired after this season. And uh, Korea and Solani both left. Uh, this is the um, season before the lockout. So I'm sure that they had that in mind uh, because obviously the structure and the and the, obviously the entire uh, spectrum of the NHL would change uh, quite drastically uh, after the lockout with the, with the salary cap. So that would be very interesting to, uh, to play with as well. Um, so anyways, with that being said, uh, the main mission here was to win the cup this season. And the main reasons why they were unable to get it done is because uh, they lack depth in key positions. Uh, goaltending was an issue all year. They were counting on David Abisher to be uh, the starter. He didn't work out, uh, so others were brought in during the season. So as you can see here, uh, David Abisher is not even uh, the highest-rated goalie on the team. Uh, Peter Budai and Philip Salve seem to be uh, ranked ahead of him. So that was the issue. It was just the, the team couldn't gel. Uh, there, I believe ESPN made a documentary about this team throughout the season because it's quite a fascinating um, idea. Um you didn't see this too often in hockey where uh, players would join teams with their friends on a discount. You didn't see that too often. Uh, and this, so this was very, um, uh, very interesting. And I know the buzz going into the season, um, into this particular 2003, 2004 season, it was all abs. And uh, because just a ridiculous, um, uh, I wouldn't say uh, top six because, as you can see here, it looks like uh, Team Solani, Heyduk, and Han, uh, Tange, and Solani are all wrist listed as right wingers. So a bit uh, empty there on the left wing. But yeah, top six, uh, if you get those six guys on the power play, uh, obviously uh, the best in the league. Uh, and then a pretty good, pretty good top four, I would say, in on defense. Um, maybe the best in the league. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. But definitely up there. And not, not a bad defense at all. But uh, definitely uh, the drawback was goaltending. But thankfully in this particular game, the F FHM, uh, goaltending is, I would say, the least dependent on ability. I've seen half-star goalies win cups So as a starter. Um, so with that being said, this would be exciting to see if we get the job done. What's the goal here? Um, I don't. I wouldn't say just one cup and out, but we'll see how it goes. There's no. I don't think um, as the previous story had with Dallas Stars, there is exactly two cups to get. That was the main objective. Here, there is no main objective. Uh, obviously, winning a cup at some point is um, is uh, key in for this scenario. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, I I I don't want this story to be less than uh, you know four videos, um, something like that. But we'll we'll play it by uh, however we see it, and uh, we'll have fun with it. So, and we'll see if we get any cups, and hopefully we get something, and and we'll see if Saladi and Korea stay because there's a chance they don't want to resign. Um, there is a chance, and. Uh, it would be uh, I'm not sure if we'd be able to retain them with our restrictions that we put in uh, of only one one star and above for agent signing so we'll see how that goes with that being said it is 
free agency at this very moment. So let's go in and take a dip and see if what we can add to the team. There are a few uh, half star players here that uh, we will be able to uh, to dip into. Uh, Joel Ward uh, immediately uh, comes to mind here, that's for sure. Uh, and then uh, there are a few other guys here uh, to, to pick from. Uh, Rich Peverly, Glass, Tom Gilbert. I believe Tom Gilbert is already our... He should be our property. Yeah, he is. Um, so let me just go into sign a little, actually, is if that's going to... See if that helps a little bit. I'm not even sure if we're able to sign those guys actually. Um, let me take another filter here. Signable under free agents. Weird. Okay. Let me go back. Is Joel Ward? No, he's not. Uh, but Gilbert is. Where does it say he's our property? That's weird. That is strange. Okay, Joel Ward is definitely uh, up for grabs. Uh, Johan Franzen, another guy. Yeah, so uh, Tom Gilbert. So I see just the history there. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. Uh, for goaltending, uh, it appears best goalie might be a backstrom available. It is an interesting play um, but I think we're going to go a different route I think we're going to claim somebody off of waivers potentially they're the most common uh, guys with the highest talent and potential on waivers so I'm going to bake on that because I do see uh, someone uh, let's see if he had been to Colorado yet yeah, he had, he was there. He was already there. Theo Fleury. Uh, he was pretty darn good. But uh, no, we're, I don't think we're gonna go with Theo Fleury. That would be uh, would be an option. Let's see. First of all, how much money we do have to to work with. So we do have a little bit of cash. Um, Highest ability is Theo Fleury. Then we got some other guys here. So keep out another guy. Yeah, I, I'm going to start signing these guys actually because I believe these guys are all another property here. Keith Ballard. And then we're going to go with uh, Tom Gilbert. Where's Tom? Tom's right here. And Johnny Boychuk also hopefully they gave him a good rating. Not bad. Could be better. David Jones, not too shabby. I'll give him a contract. Meyer League salary. Gonna boost that a little bit. Boost that. No problem. And then Agris Savilas. I've never heard of this guy. Did he play any games? No, he didn't. Look at those ratings, though. Impressive. How many contracts do we have, though? Let's take a look at that. Okay, we have lots of room there. Yeah, we'll get uh, Agris in there. Pretty darn good ratings for a guy that uh, never played in the NHL. Brad Richardson. Uh, let's see if there's anybody behind him. Jonas Johansson. Brad Richardson. You know what? We'll we'll give him a shot too. Well that's we'll draw the line between the two and a half star to No sorry, one one and a half stars. Supplementary rule. Okay. So those are our prospects there. Now let's go back to free agency center. Uh, so there were a few guys here. Joel Ward would be some, somebody definitely comes to mind. Uh, Rich Peverly, uh, Alex Burrows. He was a feisty player. He was a, he was one of those uh, 
scrappy players that you love to have on your team, but you hate to play against. Um, uh, Randy Bork. I, f I feel like... Uh, so should we keep that top six intact? We would need guys like this. I think Rene Bork needs a top six role to uh, to excel. I think Joel Ward and Burroughs are excellent uh, third and fourth line options. Tanner Glass, uh, Rich Peverly also available. Um, interesting, interesting. Um... So we'll go with first with Joel Ward. So that's um, two under one star players uh, for signing. Uh, just to review our self-imposed uh, restrictions. Uh, and uh, one one star and above player. So let's go with Burroughs or Peverly. Rich Peverly's more of an offensive guy. Uh, let's go with uh, Burroughs. We could use some more left wing depth. Speaking of left wing depth, I do see uh, Billy Pelton in there. He's kind of uh, a lot of blue there. I like that. Uh, Barteco's not bad. Claude Lemieux, bring him back again. Don't think we're going to be doing that, but although still a pretty good player. I did see Johan Franzen. That's a tough player to pass up on. He is the he's one star player, so unfortunately he doesn't fall into the half star player. Otherwise, we would have taken him over Burroughs. Bro? Bro. Uh, Franzen, yeah, looking pretty good. So interesting decision to make. You know, Billy Pelton, more established, three years old. Uh, but I, I think I'm going to go with Franz in here just uh, to keep kind of building the young guys, you know. Because uh, Pelton is 30 and he will not be getting any better. Franz in will get better. And he's left winger, actually. So that's perfect. That's what we wanted. So we're going to grab. Uh, let's see. Just see Franz in's uh, injury proneness. Uh, not too bad. He was pretty brutal in real life. Off the contract. Meet those demands, that's response, and let's get the deal done. All right. Uh, out of curiosity, let's see in the trading block. Eh, not much out there. How about our trading block? Anybody out there? No. Okay. Moving on. Uh, let's set the... Well, which day are we? Okay, we're already at there. So we'll go next day. All right, so we've got all the negotiations taking place. Good to go right now. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see kind of if we can make it past the second round. Uh, that was what they did in reality. Uh, ideally, we'd like to go further. So, yeah, I mean, losing the second round, that's by all accounts a failure on there, and no doubt, uh, failed season. And then uh, the Loco happened, and uh, Korea and uh, Solani went their separate ways. So, it'll be very interesting to see here, playing so closely to the. Um, to the uh, lockout. I don't know if I've ever started a season in 2003, 2004 season. But looking forward to it. Looking forward to the challenges that it may bring. The cap, we'll see how we can adjust to that, obviously. Might be some uh, maneuvering there. Required. Okay, we got friends in perfect. We didn't, there wasn't too much of a of a fight to get these players, so uh, not uh, not too mad about that. Okay, so that's our depth chart, and we can get going here to the. I'm just gonna take a quick look at the budget. I haven't set it to computer, 
I'm gonna take a quick look here and see. Well, also, I'm just gonna. Uh, no, no personal messages. And then, uh, let's see here. Persistent, yeah, for now it's okay. Okay, next game. Oh, yeah, and, and commissioner mode was on because I was cleaning up the staff. So as you can see here, um, there was a, a lot of uh, staff that just were not necessary, so I just removed them from the game, as I always do at the start of games. So Tony Grano is the... I would love to remove Tony Grano off the bat, but I uh, want to keep things realistic. So Tony Granado is the... Uh, <laughs> He is the head coach, but I have brought in Tim McFarland as the assistant coach, and I kept Rick talking just for for uh, beers after the game. Uh, I've added some scouts, uh, but uh, yeah, Tony Granado. I I don't know about the like honestly. Uh, I don't know what to say about his ratings because they're just uh, not good at all. Ideally, would love to find him right now, but again, as I just said keep things the way they were for now at least we can fire them during the season who knows uh okay so with that being said let's keep on going with our budget here we'll take a quick look at that we'll take a quick look at that all right how many points do we have to play with so let's go we're good there I'll be good there. Something like that. I am good with. En route to the preseason start. And we'll see what we can do. We'll have to cut down our roster, no doubt. Oh, and I believe we gotta, we gotta fix the. Uh, uh, what was it? The. The Hall of Fame, I believe. Oh, let's see here, committee. Let's see, yeah. Okay. Don't need those interruptions during the playoffs. Okay, so it appears we're going to actually send down Abisher. And we are going to let Udai and Salve figure this one out. Because Abisher is not as good as Budai. Yeah, Budai is actually pretty good. And Salve also pretty good. So yeah, it's clear that Dave Abisher is the odd man out here. And we got a bunch of guys here to send down. Jeff Finger. Okay, we we'll got a bunch of guys here. Chris McAllister. DJ Smith, the uh, I believe he's the coach of the Ottawa Senators currently. And we'll keep these guys like that. Alex Burroughs has some time down in the minors. Bridgley Worrell, he was a Intimidating man, to say the least. He was a big bruiser. Cormick, Kastonovic, Steve Moore. Okay, so at least we got a few guys there. All right, now some of these guys here, Steve Brule. David Jones, Jim Cummins, yeah, Jim Cummins, also a really tough customer. Joel Ward, you always need some seasoning. Oh, Spato, Spato's had more potential than that, half star potential, come on now. Dan Heinel already, a three star player, that's impressive. Okay, so uh, four depth, not great. As you can see, so in the wave of draft, we're definitely going either after. If we can't find a goalie, it will be a forward. Defense, we're happy with. We've got top six here, plus 
Scrashlands, and yeah, these guys are salvageable guys as well. So let's see here if we can just cruise through a week. What will a week give us? No, that'll be too much. Five games till New Jersey. That'll give us two. Ah, you know what? Let's do it. Let's roll through the week. And we'll make all the cuts that we need at that time. Okay, now let's see what we got here. Okay, Salve, not great. Not a great start by Salve. All right, let's go down to our one star players. Nobody was able to take advantage of that. Okay, so we're already down to 22 guys. So let's see how we're doing position wise. Uh, okay, so we actually are missing a forward. So uh, I'm assuming it will be Steve Moore just to keep the. So we're we're in need of uh, of somebody down there. That's for sure. Let's take a look at our defense here. Morris, not a great start. Uh, Singles, Brett Clark. Let's go with uh, Brett Clark down. Now let's see if that fixes that. All right, down to okay, perfect. So this gives us some wiggle room here to maybe claim some guys off of waivers. Um, and there you go. There seems to be our roster now. So. We will cruise right to the end of the month. All right. How is our morale doing? Just fine ish. Okay. Let's get to our lists. Interesting to see who we might have to lose, but uh, I think we're a pretty top-heavy team right now, so I think we'll be, I think we'll be okay when it comes to that. Very top-heavy team. So some uh, usual guys here. Clark. Uh, Finger has a little potential. We'll protect him. Steve Moore, I guess. Uh, I guess Steve Moore. Let's see, choice Steve Moore. And he's not great, but he's all we got there right now. Peter Worrell. Some, you know, obviously some enforcer numbers there yeah I mean I guess Steve Moore because we just don't have anybody else right now at that position Dave Abitur I guess yeah we'll protect him we got a free slot there okay so yeah nothing too crazy to uh, I wouldn't expect any of these guys to be claimed but who knows who knows moving on to the waiver draft season preview yeah we are Seneca like favorites along with the Devils and Detroit so that's cool. Pick until human. So there was Gerber there on the board, but he got taken first by uh, Carolina. So here are our goalie options. So Scott Clementson is the best guy. He's the 13-15 guy. That's not an upgrade. So we're going to go with a uh, centerman. We really need a centerman. All right, who do we got here? Who do we got? 
and really great is okay let's go let's go back to the filter and perhaps the best face off guy will be um, a winger nope not at all okay so we got Francois Method who is uh, I would say a offensive threat is fair to say uh, Matt Hussey an interesting player only 24 Brad Moran another interesting player Greg Claussen Daniel Corso this is Josh Green it is Josh Green let's see what else we got there Omer Payer Pittis Take a quick look at Pittis or Taylor. Which Taylor is this? Chris Taylor? No. Okay, well, which one? Doesn't ring a bell. Um, yeah, I want to get a guy over 15. So Hussey is definitely an option, or I would go with, with Thought, but um, that's not good defense rings at all. I thought would be interesting. Good team player, good physical ratings. Face offs. Good offensive read, team player. Sure, let's go with my thought. Let's see if any of our guys were claimed. None. Okay, so we have no waiver guys available. Let's get to opening night. Franzen, sure, you betcha. Yeah, I just, uh, let's see if we can send them down. Yeah, okay, he goes down without uh, waivers. So, friends, what my thought is our uh, fourth line. Um, never played an NHL game. Interesting. Two games only in the Lyres. Or, sorry, in the... He already played two games this uh, season. 1.1 mil, though. Oh, sorry, that's my salary. <laughs> my bad. Uh, yeah, that makes more sense. Okay. So, that's yeah, 6 only. That's not too bad. Let's give that a go. Uh, I believe waivers are off. Yep. I'll take that down to... No, that's not even on. Let's give it a go. Let's see what happens. I'm sure we're going to be stopped as soon as we need, a, obviously, a forward call-up. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. We will see how it goes. And there's our first injury. Peter Forsberg. One to two weeks. Uh, Steve Moore, welcome back up. It's good to have a guy like Francois Mathon now. He could fill in there uh, offensively, I suppose. All right, off to the races. There we go. All right. Peter Forsberg back up. Let's see how those guys are doing down there. Rico Hall, actually. Steve Mazenthal. Moore's actually playing pretty good. Rico Hall, not great. And Rico Hall needs waivers to be sent down. Okay. Okay, should we send down Ballard perhaps? Who is 
for that extra guy. No, you know what? Let's let's just keep it as is for now. All right, so that's that. First month in the books, nothing too crazy. Let's take a look at the trade block out of curiosity. Nothing there. Let's keep it going. So yeah, not a bad start. Can't complain. Got through. We'll be taking a look at the stats here. Look, I saw Save there in the, in the save percentage category. Um, so yeah. It'll be interesting to see if we're able to add any goalie. Uh, I don't think we will, but you never know. Uh, Timu Solani would love to have him on the left wing instead. Uh, right now, slot at that right wing. He's out for a little bit. Uh, one to two weeks. I think uh, Joel Ward will probably be a better answer there, or maybe Jim Cummins. Let's give Joel Ward a shot there. Already calling up Joel Ward. Yeah, okay. So I, I wouldn't be surprised if we're just crew. Ah, well, you know, Budai's playing pretty good, though. Good goaltending. Pretty good goaltending. I'll be interested to see here. Paul Korea, 12 goals. Nice. Nicely done. Team Solani is back. Hopefully we can... Uh, not Riku Hall injured now. Before we do that, everyone's back in. Let's do a quick uh, look at the summary. So Korea leading the way with 23 points. Sakic 20. Hiduk with 14. Solani was 11 to 16. Not too bad. And uh, John Michael Lyle's nice. Very nice. Okay. As for our goaltending, let's take a quick look. Peter Budai, 9-5. Nice, nice. Salve, not too shabby himself. But we do have some injuries now. A few, actually. Pinched a nerve on Larson, so he's out two to three weeks. We've got Riku Hall out one to two months with a strained shoulder. And Milan Heyduk is out with two to three weeks for hyperstatic knee. Okay, so look at that. And then Lyles, we won't, where's his last right hand? We'll just put him on the injury list as well. We've got the extra defenseman. So we need a left winger. After all that being said, uh, Peter Worrell or Charlie Stevens. Let's go with Peter Worrell. All right, we just made it there to the end of the month there. Let's take a look. Yeah, we're doing pretty good there. Uh, some doing pretty good. Let's see here. Let's go back to monthly. We'll boost this slightly. And I'll give it a go. En route towards the new year. So Paul Korea enjoying a, uh, a pretty good season. He didn't he didn't do too well in his in reality with the uh, with the abs in his one season. And we will take a look actually what exactly he did accomplish in real. Uh, so thirty six points in the fifty one games. So that's not a Carl Paul Korea season at all. And then after the lockout, he came back with eighty five and eighty two with Nashville. So uh, quite the quite the difference. Did not work out in Colorado. Got out of there quick. You could see the red flags in the regular season already, no doubt. Peter Forsberg is day to day. We'll just put him on the injury list. We got to be pretty careful with uh, Floppa. Um, Let's go with Cody Luke. Uh, let's see who's best defense. Yeah, physical. Well, let's go Quinn McGuire. Let's give him a shot. 
So yeah, our forward depth is being tested immediately, as you can see. All right, flop us back. And then McCormick can go back down. Being tested immediately. Okay, Larson is back in, uh, onto the team. You know what, we'll keep Worrell up. He's gotta go through waivers, so we will keep him up. That is cruising by Christmas now. So in reality, the Avs got 40 wins um, in 2003, 2004. So we'll see how we can, how close we'll get to that. Uh, Joel Ward, he's got, he can be sent down for sure. He ain't quite ready yet. So Paul Correa is doing pretty darn good for us. Pretty darn good. Bates Battaglia is out day to day. We'll put him on the injury list. Peter Worrell just draws in there for us. That's that's cool. But who's what's going on here? Oh, we got another injury here. Dan Hynoth also day to day. We'll throw him on the injury list as well. Right winger. Let's go with uh, Mark Svatos. Give him a shot. Rico Hall is back. What does that mean here? We can actually send down Svatos and then one of the centermen can draw there on the wing. Uh, we got some more injuries. Lyles day to day. Forsberg two to three weeks with an arm injury, I believe. I saw uh, we could use a right winger now. All right, it's about those time, I guess, now. All right, so we are at the new year. We got 50 points, 22 wins. Uh, we are second in the league, not too bad. Detroit, pretty darn good. Uh, they're looking pretty dangerous as usual. So yeah, the looks like the prime suspects are up above uh, New Jersey, Dallas, Detroit, all playing very, very well. Uh, let's take a look at our summary here. So Sakic is leading the way with points with 39, Korea not far behind. And then there's a bit of a drop off. Tangi, Blake, Heyduk, Solani. Solani's still stuck in that third line right wing roll. Um, yeah. And then as for goaltending, how we doing? Budai leading the way there with 17-7. And Salve playing pretty good. Yeah, backup roll. Check our budget out. We're doing good there. As our morale. Doing fine. Let's take a look at the game ratings. Okay. Let's keep it going. Actually, oh, there was uh, we can resign some guys now. Peter Worrell, he's uh, banged up, last right hand. We will actually send him to the IR just in case. There, left wing. Let's go with uh, 12 and 14. Sure, let's go with Charlie. Let's take a look here at our contract situation here. So, oops. Let's see if we can extend some of these guys right now. So, Philip Salve. Uh, he looks good. So, we're going to renew him ASAP. Uh, Budai doesn't need one. Paul Korea. So, let's see what his deal is. 
okay so he's willing to resign and I'm okay with that price obviously uh, Alex Tange 3.2 mil sure Milan Hayduk 3.2 mil Brad Larson 1.1 cool uh, Rob Blake he wants in again 3.1 so he's taking a little less uh, Adam Foot doesn't need one Derek Morris let's do that 2.2 uh, he's getting he's getting a big raise there. Uh, Carl Scrashton's. Uh, we'll bring him back as well. Johan Franzen is certainly a guy we'd like back. Um, I thought we will uh, qualify for now, and more we will also qualify for now. So that's the scoop there. And uh, we'll see how we're doing. And we got a bunch of guys here still as well who will, uh, who might need, who will need uh, extensions as well. All of these guys will. Let's take a look at these finances here in the next stoppage. Let's take a look here at our annual. Okay, so we do have some wiggle room here. Player payrolls at 31. I believe the cap will be around 39 or 38, something like that. Um, let's see what Charlie's doing. Charlie, we don't think we send him down. Okay. All right, so we're cruising, we're cruising. My thought. Oops. Broken pelvis out two to three months. I don't know. Uh, that must be. That sounds painful. So. Okay, so let's see here. We got. Uh, we need an extra guy, either left winger or. A, uh, a centerman. Let's go with Charlie back up. Well, let's take a look at Travis Bridgely quickly. Let's see Charlie. Uh, Charlie didn't play too bad for us, so let's give him another shot. Okay. Okay. Now Charlie's injured. That's the way she goes. Okay, so he's out one to two weeks, so we'll just actually send him back down to. Uh, the miners, and we'll get uh, Bridgely back uh, up going here. We're not back, but for the first time. But Bates or Peter Wells back, so we can actually send down Bridgely. The healthy guy. Okay, so let's uh, see who we can send down potentially. Uh, 22 guys. Yeah, we're okay for now. <clears throat> Foppa back up. So let's take a look again here at uh, our deals here. Forsberg. You betcha. Lyles, 2.6 for four years. He's getting a, oh, actually he was already making a lot. Uh, Bitaglia. You bet, high notes, another guy. That's a pretty reasonable price. 
Stephen Moore's qualified already, and then Worrell. Uh, we'll we'll think about that one. Wanted to qualify him, but he's can't qualify him. He's twenty six. That's weird. Okay, so we are distancing ourselves a little bit uh, from the rest of the division, but uh, Detroit is running away with the conference. Uh, let's take a look at our monthly budget. Looks good there. Morale is looking good. Riku Hall, day to day. We'll let that play out. Merrick Swatos will actually send down. Bruce Tip, let's just actually. Let's send all these guys down to uh, the IR. Do we need anybody? Centerman. Who do we got here for? Let's go with Jordan Kristanovich. Well, let's take a look at the. Uh, we'll take a look at the uh, scoring too. The uh, summary. Matt Larson is back. Couple guys missing, but for the most part, pretty good. So Sakic fifty-eight points, Korea fifty-four. Um, yeah, not not too shabby. Um, Rob Blake doing well. Uh, a couple of our rookies here. So Lyle is a rookie, twenty-four points. That's pretty good. Franzen has been filling up, uh, filling the role. So uh, that's all always important. Uh, Buddha playing a lot of games. He's in 44 games, and uh, he looks pretty good. So he might be a Vezina nominee. Oh, boy, his potential went up, too. Uh, and solvi has been good. And solvi has been good. Um, take a quick look at the trade block, see if there's anything significant. We'll all take a look closer in March. As it is the deadline in March. Yeah, Buddha is up in the top top six uh, top seven top eight of every single category so he's doing pretty darn good can't complain there uh so yeah we're we're getting pretty close to that 40 win mark that uh the abs reached in reality in this season so uh we'll see what we can do in the playoffs though it's all about the playoffs it's about winning that cup one to two weeks out for adam foot Okay, yeah, we still have six defensemen there. Okay. Moving on. So we've got two guys in the top eight for points. That's cool. Korea is definitely a threat for that Maurice Rocket Richard trophy. Okay, so I'll leave my thoughts there. Let's take a look at other contracts here. Abisher uh, will qualify. Clark qualify. Smith qualify. Worrell, we really can't qualify him. That's weird. Steve Moore, I believe, qualified. Method as well. Yeah, yeah. Boule will let go. Collins will let go as well. Okay, that's good for now. Rolling on towards March. Uh, a lot of injuries, a lot of red. Look at all those red on fours. Yikes. Oh my goodness. What has happened? Hip strain, one to two months. Bataglia. Franzen, day to day. Bruce Foot. Forsberg, day to day. Sore hamstring. Joe Sakic, two to three months. Fractured elbow. Alex Tange, day to day. Tender elbow. Okay, so we have left here. So we need uh, one a left winger, centerman, and a right winger. Yikes. Okay, so let's go with uh, is Charlie back to full speed there. How's Alex Burroughs looking? Let's go with Alex Burroughs. Uh, let's go with Brad Richardson. And 
let's give uh, make Joel. You want to see Hudson? Where did he come from? Well, he's not playing too bad for. We'll go with uh, Joel Ward. How are we doing for trading blocks? Oops. Trading block. Kopecky. Finley, Karpatsa, McGillney, Jody Hull. We might be able to get for not too expensive, but his ratings aren't good at all, to be honest. Brad May, perhaps? Uh, even his ratings aren't great. We actually want guys who can actually help us, you know? Darren Lagden. Yeah, I don't know. There's not much going on here, folks. Not much going on. Doug Duel. Okay. Okay, so let's uh, keep going. And uh, see what we can accomplish here in the near future when it comes to uh, adding guys. Alex Burrow is not great. 48, that's rough. We'll give him another go, I guess. Monthly budget still up there. Perfect. Let's raise that up there uh, one more boost yeah let's go all the way up maybe we'll have to go all the way up okay so let's keep it going here trade deadline not too far away so we're at 41 wins so there we go we've passed that already Okay, trade deadline. I think we're at the trade deadline. Yeah, we are. So let's take a quick look here. Who's available for us? Okay, there are some guys. There are some guys, and there's a few that really uh, catch my attention here. Ed Belfour. Ed Belfour. Okay, so let's see our roster here. So. Uh, we could send down Save. Okay. Theo Fleury's on there. So there's definitely some options here, that's for sure. Let me send down some guys that I don't think will be. And we'll see. Uh, we'll see who's left. If we can get Steve Moore out here, yeah. Kristanovic has played well. All right, so we're going to make some moves here. We've got one, two, three. That's ways away. So we got three forwards coming back. Uh, so we still need a uh, couple guys. Uh, one, four. So some centermen would be nice. Some sentiment would be nice. What do we have for that? Andrew Castles, Bobby Holik, Peter Nedved, uh, these guys will be too expensive. So let's start with the, uh, uh, 
Uh, let's go with let's go with Bobby Holy perhaps. He's been he's got a decent uh, game rating as well. I think he's better better than uh, than Castles. Yeah, he'd be better for those roles there on the other lines once Sack gets going. Again, which who knows might, when that might be. Okay, let's go after Bobby Holik first. Right defense, left wing, right wing. Let's take a look at our rights first of all. Let's see how much they want for him. Well balanced offer, okay. Interesting. Let's go with Danny Boy and a pick, perhaps. Let's see, what will it take? Third, a third, maybe a fourth, maybe a fifth. Okay, let's see if we can add uh, somebody off of here already. Um, Instead of Danny Boy, let's go with um, left wing, right wing. No, Peter Worrell, no, uh, no interest in him. Let's take a look at Svatos, out of curiosity. Okay, so they do want that prospect, perhaps, and right defense. Jeff Finger. A Jeff Finger and what kind of pick are we talking here? Okay, not much. Let's take a close look at Jeff Finger here. We can do that. We can do that in the ninth for Bobby Holik. Done deal. So Bobby Holik has joined us. Perfect. Let's add uh, another centerman. Uh, let's go with this time. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, once again. Greg Johnson, Peter Nedved. Let's take a close look at. Peter Nedved. Oh, we could have actually just you know, this, uh, we could have just taken that too there, but it is what it is. Same team. Looks like New York is unloading. Let's out of curiosity, let's see where New York is in the standings. Uh, yeah, they're unloading, and uh, they've got no need for uh, for Peter Nedved. It's got some good defense, uh, defensive ratings though. Peter Nedved. Castles had a rough year, and despite, I mean, despite the bad season, the Rangers Nedved's still decent, uh, plus minus at zero. So let's take a look at uh, Peter Nedved here. Looks like they still want the same kind of guys. Uh, let's go with Danny Boy. Oh, they all accept it. Let's see if we get a uh, draft pick potentially as well. No, that's uh, straight up. I'm okay with this deal as well. Let's finalize this. Okay, Peter Nedved has now joined as well. Okay. That's cool. Let's take a look at our injury report here. The tag was going to be out for a while. But, uh, so let's get out and let's get a left winger as well. A left winger we can use. Transactions, trade block. Who do we got here? Gary Roberts, Shane Corson. Uh, I think they'll be asking for too much for these guys here. Uh, Shane Corson, 
Gary Roberts. Gary Roberts, not much left in the tank there. Shane Corson, same thing. Uh, Derek King. Yeah, not too much going on there. Scott Pellerin. Not great. Darren Langdon, I think we looked at already. Chris Simon, another Ranger. Um, we could try Chris Simon. Ram Murray as well available. Let's see what it would take for Chris Simon. Right defense again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see if we can offer uh, Johansson. Oh, perfect. Uh, let's see if we get a pick. I doubt it. I doubt we can get the pick from them. Oops. I doubt we can get a pick back. Uh, oh, they will take... Uh, we can get we can get our pick back. Okay. Uh, we will accept this deal. Now we're just making trades with the Rangers all day. So we've just added Chris Simon, Bobby Holik, and Peter Nedved from them. Uh, we could use a right winger. We're just shopping here, eh? We are just shopping. Okay, right wing. Not many right wingers available. Theo Fleury is available. Uh, Jeff O'Neill. We got Anson Carter. Another Ranger. Matthew Barnaby. Man, where they just got it? They're just unloading everybody. Uh, Matthew Barney would be interesting if we can get him. Anson Carter. Let's take a look at Anson Carter. Left wing, right wing, he's very defense. Okay. I'm assuming they want somebody young. Okay, David Jones. Well balanced, okay. Jones, are we okay with letting go of David Jones though? I think so. Yeah, that's a card would be a good addition. All right, let's see what we pick here. It's gonna take more than a ninth, more than a fifth. Yeah, that's costly. Third. Let's see if we could do nine, eight, seven, six. Okay. I'll take all those picks for Adson Carter. Um, yeah, let's do that deal. Or should we get Barnaby instead? We do have Dan Hine out there already. What would it cost for? Uh, what would it cost for? Uh, Ed Belfort. Let's let's see. Let's get him first in the building. Um, left wing, right wing. Oops. Wait, that's how we got there. Everybody wants those left wingers, right wingers. Svatos here. They will never accept this offer. Okay. They will never accept this offer. So they're going to, I think they're going to probably. Wow. They're asking for a law for Wow. That's a law for a 38 year old. 
Very interesting. They're asking for uh, quite a bit. Let's go with uh, David Jones. Wow. A first and David Jones will not go. That is crazy. What the heck? Weird. Okay, let's go Save. This is kind of weird. Let's go with Save and... And um, the Jones, and plus a third, or sorry, a uh, first round pick. Okay, so it is officially impossible to get Ed Belfour. Out of curiosity, let's uh, offer, um, you know, let's offer uh, Paul Korea. Wow, so this is officially broken. All it will take is Alex Tange. Milan Hedek, really? Yeah, okay, so something's messy there. Unfortunately, we won't be adding... Uh, we will not be adding uh, Mr. Belfour. Crazy old Toronto. Typical Taranta. With their overvaluing of players. Is there anybody else of value to... No, there isn't. Okay, so there was a right winger we wanted to add yet. Uh, Barnaby or uh, Carter. Carter's the better player, no doubt. I think we had a deal lined up for him as well. There's that offer. Uh, I'm okay with that deal. Let's do it. Finalize that deal. Carter can honestly play on any four, any of the four lines. Uh, defense. How are we looking on defense? I feel like if we can find the right defenseman, let's take a look at who is available. We are spending a lot of time with this deadline, aren't we? Usually we don't uh, do this, but again, with the injuries, and we know they're coming as well, it's not a bad idea to load up here. So there are some options here. Brett Hedekin immediately comes to mind here, as well as uh, we've got James Patrick. No, he's not uh, loaded to. See old Modry. Um, Nordstrom. Yeah, we've got some options here. I'm interested in Modri. Oops. Yaroslav Modri. Trade offer. Right defense goalie. We'll go to our rights. No, then that's not going to do it. Abisher. Okay, they they like that deal. Or a right defenseman. I got nothing on right defense. So I guess it's got to be Abisher. Uh, let's go. Do they have any goalies to give back to us by chance? Steve Shields just in case they'll never accept this deal okay big Shields guys okay uh, let's go with uh, any picks they can give us well balanced okay let's just do that deal perfect and I think this will allow um, Ballard to be a little more seasoned there on the uh, on the farm. Okay, so this is what it looks like right now. 
Um, let's see the injury list. We could use one more centerman, I think. I'd be happy if we added one more centerman. I guess that Moultrie feels nice, I think. Okay, let's go ahead and go with one more centerman. Because uh, why not? Let's see what we can add here. Uh, I think Andrew Castles will come cheap. Everything. The, bla ju bla the Blue Jackets need everything. Lifted. Perfect. Okay. Andrew Castles joins. And that's that's what we're gonna roll with. So we made some deals, to say the least, and uh, we're ready to rock and roll. We could use a could use a third goalie just in case. Well, so let's go to that. It won't be Ed Belfour. Let me tell you that it will not be Ed Belfour. Roman Turk. Well, we might lose one of these guys on off of waivers, but uh, we'll roll the dice. Roman Turk. Uh, they need a little bit of everything as well. Let's see who we have left on our right goalie. Who, who can we? Uh, I think we're offering too much. Okay. Jim Cummins isn't too happy. They will never accept this deal. Okay, let's try uh, Chris McAllister. Let's see. Chris McAllister is actually not that bad. How about Steve Brule? I think we're offering too much. Well, let's uh, take a pick back or something. Or who else is on their trade block? Christoph Oliwa. Rhett Warner. Stefan Yell. Oh, Yell yeah, would be nice to add back. Uh, I don't think we have. What would we swap out? They take Riku Hall and we take Stefan Yell. Is that a thing? Is that a thing? We're close to a deal here. Okay, I, I like that. Uh, Riku Hall. Well, no, he is not bad, I will say. Uh, okay, the ninth. Let's go check out uh, Stefan Yell. Uh, the injuries are going to come. We know that. That's for sure. Riku Hall. Interesting, he's, he's pretty good. In real life, he was unable to really get going, but in this game, he looks pretty good. Uh, let's take a quick look at how he's done this season. Not too shabby. Uh, 61 game rating. Not a bad player. Not a bad player. Let's take a look at Stefan Yell. 70 game rating, that's not too bad. But, you know, we're, we're in it to win it, so let's let's do it. Okay, so this is it. This is our team. <laughs> so we've made quite a bit of changes here at the trade deadline. I probably should have capped the uh, the trade deadline acquisitions, but it is what it is. Um, probably going forward, might have to cap it at three or something like that. 
But then again, let's see here. So Kolik, Nedved, and Carter came from one team. So we can count that as one trade, let's say. Because in reality, that was one trade. Uh, Castles was another trade. Modri was another one. And then, so we did four trades. And Chris Simon. Chris Simon, Nedved, Holik, Carter, one trade. Castles, one trade. Calgary, one trade. Modri, one trade. So four trades. That's not too bad. I know the Rangers thing looked like obviously four trades, but we obviously could have combined that into one trade. So that's not too bad at the end of the day. So we, we got Chris Simon, Holik, Nedvet, and Carter all from the Rangers. Uh, essentially one trade. So I think we're good going forward now. What do you guys think? <laughs> might be, might be, we're just priming up for that run. We need it. Because the injuries do happen, so you need these guys. And I don't think I remember ever having a trade deadline quite like this, but uh, it is what it is. Okay, let's take a look at our roster here. How many guys do we have? 22 guys. Okay, perfect. Uh, we will send down Tarek right immediately. And we'll see how that goes. If we lose him, we lose him. That's the way it goes. It looks like he's good. So Milan Heyduk, there you go. Right off the bat, one to two months gone. So that's why you pick up these guys. That's why you pick up these guys. So we already immediately um, need to call up a guy. Let's see how our injury report here. Uh <laughs> That's uh, one heck of an injury report right there. As you can see here, it is absolutely loaded. Some day-to-day, -day, some are away for months. Um, okay, so it was a right winger, I believe. Now we got a call up. There'll be some uh, stoppages here. Tange is back, perfect. Let's go with uh, where is Svatos? Gosh darn it, where is he? That was Joel Ward that we're looking for. No wonder. Okay, let's keep it moving here. Uh, Stefan Yell actually was our first line. Look at that. We acquired all these guys. Yell, Holik, Neva, Castles, all ran brand new right down the middle. Uh, Stefan Yell is now injured and he's out two to three weeks. And we need a we need a centerman. So Steve Moore comes up. So even with all these additions, we're still so you can imagine if we didn't make these additions, what that would what the team would look like really. It'd be pretty, uh, it'd be dwindling, no doubt. Okay, so <laughs> Forsberg's back up. Okay, perfect. We can uh, send down Steve Moore. Making a lot of moves on uh, up and down the farm. So it looks like we're still battling for the division. Vancouver has come up. Uh, still have a couple uh, point lead there, but it's getting close. Pretty darn close. Now it's tied. The division lead is tied now. Rob Blake is uh, suspended. School is out day to day. Nedved is day to day as well. We're going to need one, two, three, four, five. We're going to need Ballard up. Let's see about our forwards here. Oh, I think we're good. Yeah. One of those guys will cross over to the right wing. And we'll keep that going. Hopefully we can keep that uh, division. Because the Canucks are coming up quick. 
very very quick Ballard is good sure we'll keep it like that uh, Peter Nedved is back oops that's not what I wanted to do to active roster let's see if we were able to beat the wild no were we not able to beat the wild we were okay so we've got two games left here in the regular season so we're still tied we got Columbus I saw next so that should be a win uh, I'm curious to see the uh, New York Rangers. Uh, how do they look after all those moves? Yeah, they're uh, yeah, they're in deep there. That's for sure. Okay, uh, monthly budget. Let's take a quick look. Yeah, we're doing pretty good there. Let's boost them around all the way up. Let's go. Three eighty-seven to work with. Why not? And we'll do some promotions too. And yeah, okay. Boost the uh, boost that up a little bit. The scouting. Um, we're at twenty three guys injury list. Uh, we got some guys coming back soon here, very soon. Marty Scula back right now. Let's see here on our defenseman list here. Keith Ballard, we could send him down. Okay, let's keep it going here. Got to beat Columbus. Look at these lines. These are something else. Just everything, just scrambled really. There hasn't been much continual kind of uh, momentum. Uh, we're just everywhere, but talent nonetheless. But can we gel, really, is the question. We just throw a bunch of stuff out there and we see what happens. So we do get the win against Columbus. To take us to 107 points. And we do have Nashville now. We got Nashville yet to go. St uh, Stefan Yale now uh, also. He's out with the black eye. Interesting. I can't see, I guess. I guess that's just, that's the thing. Okay, so Joe's still a month and a month, two months away. So that's a big X factor there, obviously. Nashville. We got to beat Nashville to try to get that, uh, wrap up that division. And we lose to Nashville. Let's see if we lose the division. And we do lose the division. So we lose the division on the very last day of the regular season. So that means that we will play the Oilers instead of the Dallas Stars. So did we dodge a bullet? Dominic Hasek in that for Dallas? Uh, and call uh, Edmonton has still a pretty good team, but... I'd rather play Edmonton than the Dallas Stars, to be honest. So did we dodge a bullet? Wow. That, you don't see that too often. Uh, but well, I guess we'll see. Um, our healthy guys are starting to return. Bataglia and... Uh, hey Duke. Too many active guys. Uh, there's still waivers though. Okay. We'll send down uh, Franzen, I guess. Can we send down? Let's see where else. No, we do not. We definitely don't want to go through waivers right now. Hmm. 
Okay, so we have reached the um, we have reached the Stanley Cup uh, playoffs there. So let's see here. So we leadership, yes, yeah, Sakic and Rob Blake. Let's see what else we have here. Uh, Peter Budai, Rookie of the Year. That's cool. Um, nominated for that, and yeah, that's what we have right now. So we've got the Oilers here. And that's the scoop. Uh, Peter Worrell, we will send down. Let's see who else. Okay, scratch this. So also send down scratch. And so we have everybody's above a two star as of this moment. So I believe Frazen was a one half and then Rashness as well, so we're gonna see how that works out for us. And then on our injury list, we have a couple guys day to day. So this the there's definitely depth here, that's for sure. Let me tell you that we've got we've got power here. Now it's a matter of going out and doing it and getting the job done. So with that being said, it is game one now, and we are hosting as the fourth seed. Let's go. Game one. 3 1 win. There you go. Um, Tange, two points. Korea with a goal. And I just forgot, we definitely forgot to look at the stats from the regular season. So, Korea, 76 points. So, uh, 41 goals, much better than what he did. Uh, he, got, he got under 41 points for sure in that season. Uh, Solani had a decent year. What did he get in his? I think he got around there, actually. No, he had a bad year. 32 points. So he did much better this time around. Uh, Tange, pretty good. Uh, Forsberg played well when he was in there. So pretty good. Lyles was good. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, goalies. 42. Well, that's pretty good. No Vesna nominee? Really? Okay. I didn't see a Vesna nomination there, but I, I might have missed it. But uh, anyways, that's the scoop there. Next game, game two from Denver, Colorado. Let's see. Another win. Paul Korea with the game winner. Uh, he got two goals this time. All right, we got Stefan Yell coming back up. How are we doing? Still, everybody's above two. Nobody's falling apart yet. Okay. Uh, Francois I thought he's a uh, too active roster and we will send him down immediately okay look at that lineup look at that okay Stefan Yell draws in there a second line this is, this is a scrappy team let me tell you like scrappy like skill team we got we got some stuff here going on anyways we're in Edmonton for game three and Edmonton gets the job done. Scott Ferguson, of all guys, game-winning goal. Okay, sure. Interesting. How are our game ratings doing? Andrew Castles is struggling. Uh, let's actually send him down. Rob Blake needs to get, get going here, too. That just ain't going to cut it. Okay, what's going on? Game four now from Edmonton. And we lose again. Jason Schmer with the game winner. And we're nowhere to see Ira Ulanov with three points. Uh, making us look like clowns. So the struggles continue here. Chris Simon with a bad game. So now that all the series is all tied up. What to do or what to do? Derek Morris, Carson Rodri. Let's go with uh, let's go with Scrastens. And uh, what else can we make here? What kind of changes? That high note is struggling. 
lineup is this. Okay. Let's give that a go. Game five from Denver. And we do just sneak by Bobby Holik with the game winner. Uh, in the first period, and it's, uh, just hung on there. Couldn't uh, get going anywhere uh, in the third period. No goals for neither either side. So uh, just just surviving there. Uh, Bates Battaglia, not great. So we're definitely doing some. Just trying to survive here. Should I go Battaglia down and then Franzen up? So I'm going to try that one. I'm gonna, that's what I'm going to go with. And then, how was Scratchton's? Very good. Scratchton's played well. Okay. Back in Edmonton for game six. Oh, goodness gracious. The Edmonton Oilers, game winning goal, Fernando Pizzani. My goodness. Man, we can't. Can't get, can't solve these guys. Can't solve these guys. Anson Carter struggled there. Rob Blake just having a bad playoff. Bobby Holik. Uh, Let's take a close look here at. Uh, let's go with Bates. I'm gonna stick with Johan there. Dad high notes should be in the lineup. Nedved's not playing bad. Uh, Holy Carter. Carter has been struggling a bit. With us, so I'm gonna go with a high note over him there. Uh, let's take a look. Franzen's in, Derek Morris for Ballard, maybe. I'm gonna do that. Derek Morris, same Derek Morris down for Ballard. Let me take a look though at the skills here. Uh, Derek Morris is. I'm gonna go with yeah, Keith Bauer. Let's try that. How's our lineup look? All right, let's do it. Game seven from Denver. Yes, we do get the job done. Game winning goal uh, by Team Slani. Shout out for Peter Budai. Let's go. All right, well done, well done. We won, so let's. <laughs> We survived. Okay, on route to the second round. And we got the Detroit Red Wings. Oh boy. Uh, that's the that's the drawback from being the fourth uh, seed. Uh, you get uh, you get that. Uh, Vancouver didn't have a tough time with Dallas, which is a little bit surprising. So this is going to be a tough, tough series right here. And this one's going to be tough. Uh, Ray Whitney, captain. Okay, then. Taken away from Steve Eisen. What the heck? That's just not right. That ain't right. That ain't right. Anyways, what is right? We're going to try to win. 2-1. Paul Correa game-winning goal in overtime. His second of the night. Huge game one victory for the Avs. Game two in Motor City. And Detroit ties up the series. Let's see here. France is not good. School are not good either. Those guys did not play well. Marty School. Okay, I'm going to go School down. And I'm going to try. I think I'm going to go with Modri again. Give him another shot. He definitely got some ability there. And then Franzen. Let me take a close look at Johan Franzen. Should I send him down for... 
Uh, let's see here. Would be yeah, uh, we're left winger, base Battaglia. Yeah, let's try it. All right, this is our lineup going into the game here. So Bates Battaglia draws in, and Modri is back in as well. Let's give this a go. Back in Denver for Game 3, Series Tied, 1-1. And we do get it done, 3-0. John Michael Lyles with the game winner, and uh, I'm assuming Buddha had a pretty good game. Only 23 shots by Detroit, though, so uh, that is that. En route to Game 4 now. And Detroit sneaks by Steve Eisenman with the lone goal in the first period. So the series is tied at one. Uh, okay, Pratt Larson could have been better. And Bates could have been better as well. Okay, so series is tied at uh, twos. So it's a best of three at this point. Um, I'm going to actually go with... Anson Carter. I'm going to get Anson Carter back in. And for defense, I'm going to think I'm going to keep it the same. Rob Blake, you know, foot. Yeah, Rob Blake on foot, bottom. Okay. Anyways, Anson Carter draws back in. I think he should at least. Hold on here. Who's not in? That's weird. Where's Anson Carter? Oh, there he is. Third line center. Okay, I'm okay with this lineup. Let's rock and roll. Ouch. 4-3 loss. Game winner by Matthew Schneider. That comes in the third period. So we had a 2-0 lead. Unable to, uh, to keep it. Dangerous lead. Very dangerous lead. They say it's the most dangerous league in sports. Bobby Holik with a poor game. Atson Carter as well. I think both those guys will most likely draw out. Uh, we have a couple of injuries now, though. So that doesn't help. Um, John Michael Lyles is out. And Chris Simon is out for the season. Most likely fractured draw one to two uh, weeks there. So let's see here. Um, Carter didn't play well. And then Holik also didn't play well. Uh, for defense, who's coming back up? I would say let's go with Derek Morris. And then for uh, forwards, we need a bit. Uh, let's go with Bates and Johan. And who do we got here? Andrew Castles. Or friends, that's one with uh, He was actually playing pretty well before he went down. I'm gonna give him a shot. We have nothing to lose. So this is our lineup for tonight. Uh, must win game. Game six. And we do win this six four. Paul Korea again with four points this time, and his buddy. Solani with two, so we put up the goals tonight. That must have been a classic. Two two po uh, two goals uh, in each period. Okay. So, game seven in Detroit. We'll go with the same lineup that got us here. And we do get it done. So, we do advance to the Western Conference Final after, after avoiding uh, elimination twice. The tinkering that I did helps us get through. Pierre Nedved, Derek Morris, uh, Timo Solani all getting on the score sheet. Actually, well, Morris with an assist, Nedved, Solani with goals, and we do send the Detroit Red Wings packing. We are on the way to the Western Conference Finals, where we will meet the San Jose Sharks again uh, without home ice advantage. They do get through the uh, Vancouver Canucks, so this is the upstart. Uh, uh, San Jose Sharks, pretty good team, uh, but I think we are better. Uh, and on the other side, we have Ottawa and New Jersey. New Jersey is uh, obviously pretty top-heavy there with their stars there, and Ottawa is uh, breaking out with their young stars at Hosa, Chara, Havlat. That's a 
it's a good looking team very good looking team um whoever comes out of the west will have a very difficult uh uh, time. So with that being said, let's do this. We are going to San Jose for game one. And San Jose takes game one. And they just pushed aside. Franzen with a, uh, the not so good game. Franzen not so good. Okay. There may be more so we can we can send down uh, okay let's just take out the uh, quick look at our injury list Lyles is day to day let's let's see if uh, let's see if we get him back roster injuries it's still not good okay um, who was that player that struggled last game I think it was Franzen I believe it was Franzen. Franzen struggled and Derek Moore struggled the most. So I'm going to go with uh, Franzen down and Holik up. And I'm going to go with. Is there quite the difference between Skula and. Uh, I'll, I'll keep Derek Morris for this one. I'll give him another shot. Okay, so Hall League draws in on the third line. Game two from San Jose. And again, they win. In overtime this time. So, uh, how are goalies doing? Budai, 93 rating. I mean, it's not him. It's not him. Uh, we didn't play that bad. We played pretty darn good here. Um, I really can't see anything too crazy to change the next game. We will get Lyles back though. Well, we still do not have Lyles back. Are you kidding me? Let's see here. Day to day, still nothing. Okay, let's do it. Uh, okay, no, well, never mind. We got an injury here. We've got Milan Heyduk out day to day. So who can we add here? Um, let's go Anson Carter. He can draw into the right wing there. Uh, no, never mind. My thought will get uh, switched over. So from Denver, here we go, game three. And San Jose are putting us on the rope. So, wow. Um, you know, it's the team that you least expect it from, but uh, they are taking it to us big time. Uh, Larson Forsberg, my thought. Uh, my thought is definitely the guy who can, we can uh, send back down. Larson, uh, I think he's too good to be, yeah, no. I thought definitely has played uh, his last game in this playoff. Um, uh, what else can I say? The defense. Rob Blake, Keith Ballard. Uh, Keith Ballard can switch it up. I think uh, Lyles should be back next game. Still not back. Okay, that doesn't make sense. Uh, I'm going to call him back. Yeah, he's coming back right now. Okay, so we got uh, Lyles back. Scratchdens is actually out now. He's out day to day. So we got Foot, Blake, Morris, and Lyles. And we're in a call up. Uh, I'm going to go Skula. Right? Okay. And then. Who do we have here? Who's there? We need a. Another Ford, I believe. Or is friends an injured minor injury game? Uh, he's not available. Andrew Castles. Let's try Andrew Castles. So Andrew Castles draws in there. So this is our last go here to try to save the season here from Colorado. Yeah, we do get the job done. So five five nothing. That's uh, not a bad game. Uh, Carter with two goals, created two goals. Moji with a pair of assists. So we got a long way to go here. We got a long ways to go from San Jose. And we do win game five. So back to Denver now for game six. Still alive. We are still alive. Game six from Denver. And this is where it ends. San Jose, 5-2 victors over the Avalanche. 
Uh, this is where it goes. So third round exit. Third round exit. Uh, let's see here who blows it. Oh, Rob Blake really had a rough one for us. Uh, okay, so that's a wrap for the Avs this season. Let's uh, let's get to the end of the playoffs here. San Jose and uh, the Devils. Uh, Joe Sakic Joe Sack was a huge, obviously, uh, uh, guy we, we missed severely. Now we can go back to three and no change. And back down to that. Because I think they take away all these points. Anyways, uh, we're about to end. Who's going to win? I think it went to game seven. San Jose gets the job done. Good for them. They had a pretty good team. They had a pretty good team during this era. Um, a very uh, uh, interesting blend of guys, uh, as you can see here. Uh, this is championship number one for them. So uh, by Joe Pavelski, a very young Joe Pavelski, still playing to this day. Um Patrick Marlowe actually they had a few guys here that played a while Patrick Marlowe played his last game last season uh, Joe Pavelski here so um, pretty good, darn good team so I'm glad that it wasn't just us I honestly went my first instinct uh, when it was the I saw the New Jersey Devil and San Jose matchup was that it was going to be a sweep for the Devils and it was clearly not so San Jose gets their first cup so we lost to the cup champions in, in six so uh, obviously we didn't achieve our goal but I think this was a lot more positive season than in uh, reality this was an absolute debacle for the Avs in reality this season was was terrible um, it was a second round exit it was a n very slow season for um, for Paul Korea and uh, Timu Solani uh, Paul Korea had a pretty good season and Solani uh, could have been better but again not the worst season um, and yeah it's interesting how Timu left the uh, the Sharks and they win the cup in next season that's uh, interesting to note uh, Paul Korea almost so he was, he was uh, right there uh, when it comes to um, uh, to his, his point totals, I believe, uh, 41. That was his best to up until that point. Yeah, he never got to, oh, actually, no, he got 42 once. He got 42 in, uh, in the year 2000. So, and four, sorry, oh, he got lots of goals. What am I saying here? I'm, I can't see. He got 50 goals in his, uh, second season. And 44 the next, so yeah, he's a big time star early on in his career. But we do have him locked up there for uh, a little bit. Um, we will see about the rest of the guys if we end up resigning uh, all the acquisitions we got at the trade deadline. We'll take a look at that. Uh, I doubt we're going to keep all of them, but you never know. Um, uh, we had, I thought we had a good run. Um, uh, missing Joe Sakic, obviously, that's uh. It's a big, big thing, big uh, void. Um, I, I think we would have, we would have done better with Joe Saki. Let's just say that. Uh, who wouldn't? Um, unfortunately, unable to uh, to have him for the run. But that's hockey. That's uh, that's how it goes. Injuries are a part of the game. So with that being said, this is our uh, regular season. Let's take a look at our playoff summary. So Korea, Forsberg, Salai lean the way there. Um, Let's take a look at our uh, goaltending uh, stats in the playoffs. Uh, I don't think Boudet was um, any uh, any issue of um, any reason that we we uh, we lost. Boudet was amazing for us, and I do see actually here that looks like Solve took over for. He must have played a game. He must have played a game. Unless Buda got injured, but then we would have been notified for sure. So it looks like Salvi actually got in for a game at one point. I get maybe that was for during the elimination game. I'm not too, not too sure, but it was a loss. So interesting. Did not recall that. But uh, I would say more positives than negatives going forward. Uh, look at this team. So many stars. Holy smokes. But um, yeah, we'll, we'll figure out uh, who we want to keep because... Uh, I believe we do have a few guys. Modri's up. Yale is up. Carter, Holik, Nedva, Castles. I believe everybody is up. Are we added? I think so. Yeah. So, 
we'll see about that. Um, anyways, San Jose Sharks uh, are the Stanley Cup champions. And uh, we did make it farther than the, the Avs in reality, but unable to get the job done. Uh, we are heading for a lockout, so it'll be interesting to see what the structure uh, of our team looks like going forward. Um, are we gonna are we gonna be at a cap crunch? We'll see, and uh, I guess we will find that out in the next video. So thank you very much for watching, and we will see you again soon.